Ivana Manley here from Manley Labs, and today we're going to learn how to repair the Remora remote control to any of your Manley head units. Today we're using a Manley Absolute headphone amplifier, but all of our remote control units using the Remora remote operate on a similar principle. So pretend like, oh no, it's not talking, it's not communicating. That might have happened if you accidentally pressed both the buttons at the same time and accidentally sent it into pairing mode, but you didn't pair it up. So the first thing we're gonna do is read your friendly manual because that procedure is outlined in the manual. The next thing we're gonna do is take the power off the unit. I've unplugged it. Now we're gonna put the Remora remote into the pairing mode. To do that, we're gonna press both the buttons at the same time, and then we're gonna select a unique code for this Remora to talk to this headphone amp. You only really need to pay a lot of attention to this if you have two Manly units, like if I have my steel head, I need that Remora to talk to that steel head, and this Remora to talk to this headphone amplifier, you see? So I'm gonna set different codes for each Remora so they know which unit they're talking to. If they were both set at the same code, then if I press the volume on one Remora, it would command both units at the same time. We don't want that. Here we go. We're gonna go into pairing mode and then we're gonna set that unique code. And I'm gonna select one up and two down, for instance. You can choose any number between one and seven, and that is represented by how many times you push each button, each of the up button and the down button, right? Here we go. We're gonna put it into pairing mode and select that unique code. Press and hold the buttons at the same time so the LED flashes orange. Flashing orange, I'm gonna set one up, and two down. It's gonna read it back to me. Watch, one red, two greens. Did you see that? One red, that means the up button is set to one. Two greens means the down button is set to two. Next, we're gonna put power back to the device by plugging in the power cord. Okay, at this time, we're in standby mode. That's indicated by this LED that's on. I'm gonna take it out of standby mode and it will go into warm-up mode with the flashing white LED, but within three seconds that I push the power button, we're gonna press any button on the Remora and it will magically learn. Let's watch, here we go. Take it out of standby and press a button. Now it should be paired up. There it is, now it's working. The LEDs on the volume control are going up and we can hear the relay switching. So we've done it, great. One more note is when you're doing this procedure, you want to keep the remora very close nearby to the device so it can talk to each other. Right, we can now listen to beautiful tunes. If you need any more help, please read that owner's manual or come hit us up on the website tech support section at www.manly.com. Thanks a bunch, and don't forget that tubes rule. Thank you.